New tonight, a spy balloon selfie snapped by a Beale Air Force Base pilot is released by the Pentagon more than two weeks after the U.S. shot it down. And with that, we turn to CBS 13's Adrian Moore here in studio with what we're learning about the local connection to this international story. Adrian. Yeah, this is a wild one, guys. This photo is gaining legendary status tonight with a bird's eye view of that balloon just one day before a U.S. fighter jet shot it down. For the local pilot, it's a heck of a story with a keepsake to prove it. He is close enough that you actually see the shadow of the plane against the balloon, which is amazing. A pilot pivots to a high-flying photographer catching a mid-air intruder at 60,000 feet. I think this is going to go down as one of those classic pictures in aviation that people will see 100 years from now because it just doesn't happen that often. The Pentagon says this U-2 Dragon Lady spy plane based out of Beale Air Force Base was used to monitor the Chinese surveillance balloon. The view from the cockpit capturing the jaw-dropping moment the airman hovers above the device as it's spotted over Montana. And from all the evidence we have that it's actually a tele telecom balloon that got away rather than a spy balloon. If it was a spy balloon, it was a pretty lousy spy balloon because it was flying low where everybody could find it. <laughs> John Powell is the president of JP Aerospace in Rancho Cordova. He believes the Pentagon's release of the image is part of a larger strategy to calm nerves about what the Eagle Eye equipment was tracking. If it was the latest and greatest super spy vehicle from China, I, don't, I think they would hesitate to put out that picture. A balloon photo bomb making a local pilot a high altitude hit and selfie sensation. Beale Air Force Base would not comment on our story tonight, referring us instead to the Pentagon for any information. That is a heck of a picture. Mm -hmm. Adrian, thanks.